Rodney, first question is coming from Brooke Olsendam with Trailblazers TV. Hi, Rodney. Um, yesterday, uh, someone asked CJ how you were looking um, so far. He said you're looking great. He said just in his opinion, it probably one of the more difficult things is just getting comfortable coming off an injury that you, you haven't practiced for a year. And the concern just kind of, you know, with your movements and just I just have to imagine, you know, coming down, you know, when it's I think you said when you have a lower extremity injury, it's just kind of on your mind for a while. Would you say that's accurate? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's just, you know, you just got to ease your way back. You know, I feel like I'm in really good shape, uh, but it's just certain things, certain movements. This is my first time playing five on five in a year. So it's going to be a constant adjustment. Um, the first day went solid, you know, uh, today went better than yesterday. So just continue to build off that. But I'm not out there thinking about it, but you know, when you have an injury like that, you know, your movements are a little different. You just think about things a little bit more, but you know, you just got to keep, uh, continue to work through it. Next question is coming from Sean Hyken with Bleacher Report. Rodney, have you talked with the coaching staff and the training staff about whether once the season starts, you're going to be on some kind of minutes limit to ease your way back in, or are you going to pretty much be a full go? No, I'll be, I'll be on limit, uh, minute restriction, um, you know, for uh, a few games. I don't know how many games, and I don't know the exact minutes, but I know we've talked about that and communicated that, uh, you know, uh, starting off the season. Next question is coming from Casey Holdall with trailblazers.com. Ronnie, uh, how, how would you, how would you categorize the, the runs so far? Um, particularly for someone that, that hasn't played five on five in some time, I imagine that maybe you, you might notice things more than maybe guys who have played a little bit more. So I'm curious if, if you've noticed anything specific about the runs, particularly with some of the new players in granted two days of practice. Right. I mean, it's been very competitive. You know, at the end of the day, you know, um, coach is throwing a lot at, at, especially the new guys that haven't been here, but uh, it's been good. You know, guys been real competitive. When we get the chance to play, that's what it boils down to. You know, he gives us, you know, four or five plays to do. And, um, but guys really compete, you know, at the, at the end of the day, that's the thing that I noticed, you know, starting off uh, the new guys, guys that's coming back, you know, everybody's playing like they have something to prove. So it's been good so far. <clears throat> Next question is coming from Aaron Fentress with the Oregonian. Rodney, in, in the video clip from practice, Jones does a follow dunk over Inez, and you and Harry are looking on in almost horror and disbelief. What was going on in your head at that moment? Uh, the, he's one of the dudes, uh, you know, when you're in the NBA, you have to box out. You know what I mean? He has this little sneaky walk step. And then he takes off from everywhere and, you know, he'll dunk on, you know, anybody, you know, he's just an amazing athlete. He made a couple of plays today, you know, just everybody just saying, ah, oh, you know, there's nothing you can do about it once you get up in the air. So it's definitely going to add some highlights. It adds a lot to our team too, because people got to worry about that. And then can you give a quick scouting report on just the defensive uh, or the level of defense he and Covington have shown so far in practice from a small forward position? I mean, they've been great, man. They, they, they vets uh, well. Covington uh, vet, uh, DJ is, has played on uh, a great organization. He knows how to play on that end. And they're both long, uh, they know the fundamentals and what, what coach wants. So they've been really sound on that end. And, um, you know, it adds a lot to our team. Next question's coming from Dwight James with NBC Sports. Rodney, we've talked a lot about, um, we've talked a lot about how uh, deep you guys are and I'm wondering if that's going to make for much more competitive practices than what we've maybe seen in the past guys fighting positions fighting for uh, rotation spots all of that you believe that's going to happen well I think naturally uh coach kind of uh creates an environment where we compete anyways you know uh, and on this team even in teams in the past you know if you don't compete in practice you know you're going to get embarrassed you know we got so many talented guys and um you know as far as playing time, like we don't get that feel, you know, coach worked that out and we just out here to compete. And that's, uh, we look at that more as a, as a positive, you know what I mean? We know how this season could possibly go, you know, maybe guys get injured, maybe guys come down with the virus, God willing, we don't, but uh, you know, it may happen. So having a deep team really helps us and everybody has to be ready to play when their numbers is called. So I think it adds a positive, and uh, we just compete. We just naturally compete. Dame and, and, and CJ set the tone and everybody else follows from there. 
Coming back to Casey Holdall with trailblazers.com. Ron, you just kind of mentioned it there. Where, where are you at in terms of your, your comfort level with regard to, to COVID, uh, particularly as a guy who didn't play in the bubble? I mean, obviously they didn't have that concern in the bubble, but as someone who this is really your first time playing, assuming this weekend, uh, how, how do you feel about that? And, and kind of what, what is your, your mindset or, or kind of how, how, do you, how do you kind of compartmentalize those kind of things, knowing that there is a pandemic going on? Yeah, it's, uh, it's tough. You know, I didn't, um, you know, get a chance to play in the bubble. So some of the new rules and stuff we're going through, this is the first time I'm going through it is uh, just like a Ricky or somebody else. And it's new, it's, you know, it's, it's scary, but, you know, we got to do our part. We got to be thinking about it constantly. Even when we leave the practice facility, we got to make sure when we go home, you know, uh, you know, holidays coming, making sure everybody's safe. Uh, if people come in, making sure they're tested and, you know, you're just constantly thinking about it. It's, it's real. You know, um, we're taking it serious, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how the season goes. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very interested to see how, you know, guys, uh, especially when we get through the thick of the season, how it goes. Next question is coming from Orlando Sanchez with KGW. Hey, Rodney, wondering if you've thought about what that feeling is going to be like to, to get back out there and play a game, even though, you know, th this one's going to be a, a preseason game. Have you thought about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been thinking about it uh, for, for months now, especially since I've been back on the court. You know, um, obviously, I, I love the game of basketball. I've been away for, for a while, you know, and um, I'm just excited just to play basketball, you know, just to be out there with my teammates again and, you know, and, and try to add something. But, you know, it's, it's been a tough year for me. And to get back out there, I know me, in particular, my family would be happy to see me back at, out there because, you know, that's kind of like my happy place. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I, I definitely am. Thanks, Rodney. We are going to wrap that there.